What's up, brother? Hey, man. Oh, what's going on, man? I don't know, brother. I feel like I can't get a good tuner out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like everybody just doesn't tune right. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I got the perfect tuner for you. Not too far uh, from uh, our location, and we I could bring the tuning right to you. No shit. Tell me who it is. Well, I got the website up right now. Kessel Tuning. We're partnered up with Kessel Tuning, breaking uh, records every day on NA Coyotes. Link in description. All right, guys, you heard it here. We are tuning in-house, and actually, if you go onto his website, you'll get 5% off if you put in Silly House. Right up on his website, you get 5% off with Kessel. If it's a dyno tune for a 5.0 NA boosted or an LS boosted or NA or an LT motor, perfect. He does all V8s except Dodge, I'll tell you that. But if you come in-house at Silly House, you'll get 5% off too from his tune only. We'll be working with uh, Kessel all day long. He's our sponsor for this video, and he'll get it done for you, brother. Whatever you get, can you do us more now? Swear you got me falling for your ass on it. Whatever you get, can you take some more now? Swear you got me crazy on that one day. Guys, it's Silly House Performance. I'm George here. We're gonna be working on the active kidney curls because my motor that opens and closes kind of uh, went a little fried. So I got a new OEM part from BMW. Let's take out the old one, put the new one in. Get a little cold start going. Just gonna move the car back a little bit. Get some space to work. sell you the motor and the new uh, kidney girls inside. So let's see if I got the right part. Seeing multiple boxes. And yep, we should have everything here. So we got in this bag the motor. It's mounted all in. It's pretty much going to be a plug and play type of deal. And unscrewing. All right, so let's get the old one off. Get a simple uh, pry tool for these four little, uh, what would you call them? Just like a little clip, plastic clips. Little plastic clips. Yeah. Everything, so. There you go. All right. All right guys, so we got the whole grill off. And now we are working with the actual grill. All right, I'm gonna show you guys what we actually did a couple uh, couple weeks ago, right here. All right, so, I'm gonna take everything off and show you guys, but there's a motor on the back over here, right? I ended up taking out the motor and uh, grinding the wheels down. And uh, so when it was like locked in there, everything was like sitting open instead of uh, closed. So, and I also put a zip tie so uh, these would stay, you know, open all the time, but just get dikes. They're better. <laughs> it's active, bro. Jesus Christ. I had BMW, they said. It would be fun, they said. Alright guys, we took off all the bolts from the bumper. The bumper is pretty much just hanging on by just a few more clips. And now I'm pulling off that bottom part. That's going to be a pain. So yes, we did waste our time with cutting. Just take off the bumper and it'll come off way easier. You don't even have to remove the whole bumper, honestly. 
like right here, literally. So there's this inner uh, wheel well right here. It's a couple bolts, like they don't put it all together, so that's a plus right there. So you just remove like a couple bolts from here. Actually, it's not even a couple bolts, it's actually like 10 bolts, but you know, try to make more sense about it. But there's uh, three bolts up here that holds this part. You just remove that and do it on the other side. And then you have enough room to pull this back. Pull this back and then, yeah, you're all good to go. So now we're just gonna install this, this puppy, new puppy right here, so then we'll get to it. All right guys, so right now we're just gonna get a quick ground. And then after we get our ground, we're gonna check if these wires have a good uh, connection and good uh, power. If you have like a solid 12 volt. All right guys, so we're getting to solid uh, 12.5 volts off of the connector, so that means it's actually working, so we don't have to worry about the connector. And it's just the motor that went bad, so yeah. Now we're just gonna put in the, this new piece right here, and then we should be good. Oh, copyright. <laughs> George is tightening up two bolts I forgot at the bottom, but everything's all basically put back in. Don't you agree, George? I think so. Yeah, <laughs> so Kitty goes back in and everything. I, put, I bolted up this side already. Bumper's all back together, so we don't gotta worry about that. And... All we have to do is uh, wait for George and then um, bolt up this kitty grill and then plug it back in and we should all be ready to go. Oh my god, what did I do with the... That little line right there? And the arrow, I think it's that where it lines up on. All right, guys. We'll uh, be right back after uh, we're gonna get you guys a nice cold start after we are done um, flashing with the Amy E40 mix and uh, see what happens. Okay, good. Boy, munching. Barbecue. Because this thing's cooking. Not tonight. <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna go for a little drive. Fortunately, the kidney grills are still open, which we don't know why. They might need a reset and we don't know. But uh, we shall find out later when uh, we're just gonna take it for a quick test drive. See how it goes. See how the car acts up and everything. Let's go get this oil. Engine light. You guys go inside. I'm just gonna let the car. Oh, you just gotta check engine light. Yeah, the check engine light is just from the engine ventilation. So, oh wait, actually, let's see if it's open. Thank you, brother. It's 400, right? All right, guys, wrapping up the video. So everything's installed. Everything's not working properly yet because I believe now we gotta replace a fuse. In the next video, we're gonna figure out which fuse that is and we're gonna change it and uh, bring it to you guys, all right? Have a good night. Silly House Performance out.